Ramonsky here and welcome back to another video and I just found the best software for recording clips in battle royale games or any game man and it's called Outplayed so if you guys are wondering we have Nvidia Shadowplay we have OBS Studio Replay Buffer where you can press a hot key and record the 2 minutes or seconds of a clip that you want to record. Well however, for us low-end PC gamers, we always face our greatest enemy, lag. Every time I play Apex, it just stutters. The FPS is dropping down to a 30 or a, maybe a 15. But with Outplayed, I have not experienced any kind of lag in my gameplays. Here is a sample. You see how butter smooth that thing is? On to the tutorial. You open up your web browser. Search Outplayed. I accidentally typed out plated so doesn't really matter and it's the first thing that you will see on your search so we go here and then you just click download so I actually have the installer yes and then you're going to set it up which I have already set up mine I'm not gonna go through that anymore. So going into the app, once you installed it, launching app on Overwolf. And when you go to settings, you just pick your game. For example, I'm going to play Dead by Daylight for example. And then it just adds to your games. Well I already have Apex Legends set up for my recording sessions. So I'm just going to show you my settings to fully optimize that butter smooth recording. So first off, I do have my own custom recipe. It's deliciosa. So I put mine on 720p, 10,000 bitrate, 60 FPS. That's it. That's all I need. At 1080p, my game is kind of like lagging a bit. At 720p and 60 FPS, you can still maintain your performance in the game. You can make once in a lifetime clips with this. And for the advanced options, I made use of NVIDIA and Bank, whatever that thing is. It uses my GPU. Default, I don't know how these things work, but it works perfectly for me right now. System default, system default for both capture system sound and capturing your microphone sound. Well, I wouldn't recommend putting this at 100 because you don't have noise suppression. I had a clip where I can hear my electric fan in the background noise, so I just mute it like that. For advanced options, yeah, I only made use of system sound. System sound captures only the game. I don't really need that voiceover. What's important is the gameplay and without unnecessary background noises. Webcam, and I don't put web webcam because I want my raw gameplay to be recorded without any clutter. Screen recorder. Open outplayed when capture ends. Yeah, I just put those things on. Capture mouse cursor. Show capture display indication. And then this is just my monitor. And for storage, so I put mine on manual manage because I don't want anything to be deleted from my clips. I want everything to be based on my judgment. For notifications, just keep those things on. Outplayed premium, you don't need that. And now for, for example, Apex Legends, capture mode is highlights only. Depends if you want to capture a full session, a full match, depends on you. But I like to highlight all my wins, all my knocks, all my kills, and all the victories. You can actually choose which events that you want to be recorded. Later you will see. You will revive, death, I don't like recording myself dying, okay? Going now to the hotkeys, what's really funny is you do have these settings customized to your own recipe but when you go to the game and then you press one of the hotkeys that was my phone it has a different setting like there are two different settings, I don't know why because for example in capture for my capture settings in the outplayed app it has 720p, 10,000 bitrate 60 fps but in this overwolf settings i don't know what's the really the difference you can actually change it without this thing changing so i recommend making both of these the same so there's no problem now for sounds i just use system default so if i use earphones or 
a microphone USB headphone set, it's just automatically registering the audio from that device. And for notifications, yeah, just keep those on. English, yes. And that's about it. Okay, so now we're going to try and launch Apex Legends. And you can see, it actually launches with the game. Outplay is active. Record a replay F10. You just have to play. And all you have to do is enter a match. Well, my game is lagging right now because I'm using OBS. But once you are using Outplay, it will be 60 FPS or even 120 FPS. And that's about it. So if you're going to review your clips, I'll just exit out of this. What's really good is, you can see your sessions. Like yesterday, I had 6 matches and it says which legend I used and how many kills I got. For example, I have this Mirage clip and in the timeline, you can actually see the playhead that there was knocked down by you, you got a kill right there and you got another knockdown. I'm just gonna show it to you. See how butter smooth that thing is? 862 or 82 FPS. For a low end PC, that's really good. Now, going to saving a clip, you can actually open the folder right there. And then you, you can just put it in Premiere Pro. So there is a tab here. It says video editor. You don't necessarily need this feature because if you have a Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas or Filmora, that's good enough. If you edit with their video editor, it's going to have a watermark. So just edit with your own software. So I'm going to open Premiere Pro right now. And let's try to edit. So we'll start a new project. Outplayed sample edit. So what you really just need to do is, for example, I have this clip, this is the section from the video, I'll just open the folder, it's going to highlight where the clip is, minimize that one, I can just drag it into my premiere, and drag it here again. And there we have our clip, feel free to edit it. For example, I really don't want that dead air and just go straight to the squad wipe. So I hope you like this short tutorial and if you found this video very helpful, subscribe and leave a like on this video. Helps me out a lot and I'll catch you on the flip side.